Hi guys and girls, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. This is another great applications video, so it's available for any Android device. And it is optimised to tablet as well as smartphone, so it's um, usable just as well on uh, either device. Uh, two things I will point out before I go into too much detail is that the application is a beta, so it's not currently available on the Google Play Market. You have to download it from a website, I'll give you the link uh, in the description and also this is an application geared towards uh, UK um, Asus Transformer Prime owners because uh, it's a application about uh, British television and I'm not sure if it's actually available uh, or usable in um, other regions so uh, I'll get straight on to the application which is called and I'll just zoom in on the camera uh, it is called TV Catch-Up and what this uh, basically does, and it's a very simple application, but that's one of the great things about it, it's simplicity. It lets you watch uh, British free-to-air uh, programs and channels uh, over your Asus Transformer Prime. So when I mean free-to-air, it's basically any channel that's available on Freeview. So, uh, of course, any channel that you get when you use your TV license. Now, I will apologise in advance if any of this is a bit slow. Uh, I'm sat about 20 feet away from the router and of course Asus Transformer Primes are notorious for their speed when it comes to getting a bit of a distance away from the router so if it does go slow I do apologise, it's not the application, it's probably the Wi-Fi which I've only got two bars on at the moment. So obviously the first thing you'll see that is it is a free application so you do get the occasional uh, advert but that's uh, nothing to uh, worry about. Uh, as you will see on the left hand side you have a very uh, quick showing of all the channels and a good thing is it tells you what program it's currently showing so I'll just zoom in very closely on one of them so what program it's showing now and what program it's showing after the end of that program that you're currently viewing so kind of a quick mini TV guide there so if I scroll down the channels now you see we have BBC One, Two, ITV, Four and Five so the, the main terrestrial channels to begin with and then you can see that I can scroll down and there are about I would say a good 30 to 40 TV channels there. Uh, one of the good things of course for me personally is that uh, in the area that I live in I cannot get Freeview, I have to use a satellite so I get FreeSat which means that I can't actually get some of the channels which are available on this application for example Dave uh, which is a comedy channel I can't get that on my uh, TV uh, so I can watch it on this application which is fantastic so I'll show you what uh, we can do with this application. If I simply press on uh, BBC One, uh, it should trigger that the sh um, program is about to show. So it's going to show uh, the Graham Norton show as soon as it finishes buffering. I suppose one small what criticism is... is oh, that's a bit loud. One small criticism is that it doesn't tell you um, when it's buffering or how long it's going to take to buffer. But if you notice, that was quite quick in uh, how it loaded up the program, I would say it was less than five seconds and the sync, uh, the audio in the sync is perfect so we'll just demonstrate that now I sit on this couch, it's, it's like a hot dog bun <laughs> You're a lovely filling <laughs> How is it you can remember, you know, when you weren't Madonna? No <laughs> So as you heard and saw there, the uh, audio sync is absolutely perfect. Uh, you can, if you want, put it onto full screen. So at the moment we have the channels on the left hand side. And if I press on full screen, it will have to reload the screen unfortunately again, but it doesn't take too long. Uh, hopefully it should go to the full screen uh, as we see there. And then again, it's playing and absolutely fine. So again, just to uh, emphasize, the best thing about this application is its simplicity. There's no complicated menu settings or anything. It's, it's basically to watch television. And when you want to watch television, you just want to use the volume and the channel up and down. So we'll choose another program. We'll just go to BBC4, for example. Take off the advertisement. And hopefully, within 5 to 10 seconds, we'll be watching another program. And there we are. And that's pretty much what TV catch-up is. I would say an excellent application to use on a tablet for watching television uh, when you don't have uh, access to a television nearby. Thanks for watching. Uh, any questions, uh, please do ask and I'll try and answer them. But of course, as I've said already, this is a beta application, so it's only going to get better. But as you can see already, it's pretty stable and pretty useful. Uh, if you're wondering how to install an application that's not available on the Google Marketplace, 
uh, stay tuned because there will be a video about that soon in one of the basics uh, playlists. Thanks for watching then, and I'll see you again soon in another Asus Transformer Prime video.